Some researchers at Georgia Tech spend more time thinking about honeybees than they do yellow jackets. As we found out, Tech is now the second university in the U.S. that has been designated as a bee campus. As most of us learned in school, bees play a valuable role in our ecosystem and in the world of agriculture. Scientists tell us that the honeybee population is a dying species. On one of the rooftops at Georgia Tech in downtown Atlanta, Jennifer Levy is working to integrate bees into a city environment with the school's Urban Honeybee Project. We want to demonstrate that you, there are um, very interesting physics applications, engineering applications, computing applications that relate to biology and um, allow people with an innate interest in biology to then bridge into those fields through things like studying honeybees. Uh, we have students who have taken data from Trees Atlanta and from the city of Atlanta about where different trees are located in the city and then created maps that demonstrate where the good habitats are for bees in the city of Atlanta. So that's something that uses a lot of computer programming skills uh, but is directly relevant to people who want to keep honeybees in Atlanta. So. With projections from the USDA that nearly 45% of honeybee colonies in America died off in recent years, Levy said she wants to create new homes for the insects and teach her students about protecting the ecosystem. Disease is the last and most important um, threat to bees. So um, we've had uh, probably the worst, the worst threat to bees is the Varroa destructor mite and that jumped from an Asian honeybee species into the bees that we keep here in North America um, in around the mid 80s. And that is, it's like a little tick, you know, <laughs> it, it attaches to the bees and it, it sucks their blood. And it also spreads viruses just the way ticks can spread diseases to humans. And so uh, the viral diseases that bees catch from those mites as well as being weakened by the mites themselves are the, are the biggest threats to, to honeybees. And then those mites can also uh, cause damage to native bees. So it's been demonstrated that, that those mites have jumped onto bumblebees even, um, which are a whole different gen genera than, than honeybees are. And honeybees are, are cavity nesters. So, I mean, we keep them in cavities in the form of beehives um, in our backyards, but um, they naturally can occupy all kinds of cavities, you know, like cavities people don't like them to live in, like the, the uh, hollow space between um, <laughs> the outside of your house and, your <laughs> and the inside of your house. Um, but, um, but also uh, there are plenty of, of, of abandoned spots, hollow trees in urban areas where um, feral bees can make their homes as well. Levy and a group of students have added a honeybee cam to raise awareness of the threats that honeybees face. I mean, people love honeybees. You think about bees and you think about honey, but people get bees and wasps confused all the time, right? So wasps uh, include things like yellow jackets that look just a lot like bees. <laughs> um, that's part of the reason why we decided to study bees here at Georgia Tech is because our mascot looks a lot like a bee. Um, we're not going to study ye yellow jackets. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> We'd be a glutton for punishment, right? <laughs>